Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. You know, there are two ways to view the Republican Party's stance on abortion and abortion rights. And it's catastrophically successful attempts to end abortion rights in this country, which they've succeeded doing in state after state after state. Now, the first view is that Republican officials, the conservative movement writ large, particularly religious evangelicals, hold this belief, sincere belief, zealous, sincere belief that life begins at conception. And therefore, abortion is murder, tantamount to taking a human life. I personally think that view is wildly wrong. But at least if you listen to Republican politicians, they say, that's our sincere belief. We believe in life. Now, there's another interpretation, which is much more cynical. Basically, that Republican politicians, conservative movement, are invested in the patriarchy, in controlling women's lives. It's not really about life in any way. They want to police women's bodies. They want to have control over what they do with their bodies. And today, we have some of the clearest evidence yet the cynical view may really be the correct one. You might see this news. According to the Daily Beast, Trump endorsed Georgia Republican Senate nominee Herschel Walker, allegedly got a woman pregnant in 2009, not like ancient history, 2009, and then he paid for her to have an abortion. The Daily Beast has the woman's receipt for the procedure, and the check Walker sent her days later they even have a photo of the Get Well card Walker apparently set the woman after the abortion, card reading, quote, rest, relax, recover, a signature saying, pray you are feeling better with what looks like Walker's signature H. Now, Walker denies this, and NBC News has not yet verified these allegations or independently reviewed the documents involved. This is a Daily Beast report. But just to be absolutely clear here, I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman having an abortion or for a partner financially helping her with that procedure. In fact, I would go further and say, I don't think any of this is any of our business at all. But Herschel Walker does. At least he says he does. Not only has Herschel Walker supported South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham's first ever national abortion ban at 15 weeks, he's gone further calling for a full federal ban. Walker was asked about the U.S. Senate potentially voting on a national ban on abortion, and he answered by saying the absence of such a ban is a problem. Well, there's not a national ban on abortion right now, and I think that's a problem. We uh, keep talking about things like that. Right now, I'm for life, and I'm no, not going to make an excuse for it. Oh, there it is again, life. I believe in life. Now, Walker has also said he does not support exceptions for rape or incest. And according to reporting, the woman who came forward and spoke to the Daily Beast says she did so because of Walker's hardline stance against abortion in all cases. Quote, I just can't with the hypocrisy anymore, she said. We all deserve better. Now, in response to all this, Walker's campaign had this very, very... Uh, high dungeon statement last night in which they threatened to sue the Daily Beast. I'll quote here. I'm not taking this anymore. I'm planning to sue the Daily Beast for this defamatory lie. It will be filed tomorrow morning. Classic Trumpian move. It's now been more than 24 hours. This morning was this morning since Walker released that statement. Do you think he's filed the lawsuit yet? You get to guess real quick. No, no, he hasn't. But this reporting did invoke a very passionate response from Walker's son, Christian, who's something of an aspiring a conservative influencer. I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values people, he has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? I have a silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter, he lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. Everything has been a lie. Now, Christian alluded to the atrocities committed against his mother there, and he elaborated in a tweet. He wrote this. You're not a family man when you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us, and had us move over six times in six months running from your violence. 
I, I read that a bunch of times last night. This is a really intense thing to read from a son to his father in public. Really troubling accusation. We reached out to representatives for Walker for comments on his son's allegations of being threatened with his life, having to move to escape the violence of Herschel Walker. We haven't heard back. Also, as far as we can tell, there's a new allegation of violence against Walker, separate from the widely publicized accusation his ex-wife Christian's mother made nearly 15 years ago. His eyes would become very evil. The guns and knives. I got into a few choking things with him. The first time he held the gun to my head, he held the gun to my temple and said, he was going to blow my brains out. Now, that allegation is established against Walker more than a decade old. We should say that Walker has not denied that one, he said he doesn't remember the instances. Now, in my humble opinion, that should have been enough to end Walker's political career before it began. Guy doesn't have to be a U.S. senator. So why, you might be asking, is Herschel Walker, of all people, the Republican nominee for Senate in Georgia, a state he wasn't even living in when he first started running? The answer is Donald Trump. I mean, Trump himself won the presidency on the back of his own celebrity, so he assumes celebrities are automatically winning candidates. Picked a celebrity in Pennsylvania as well. And when it came time to pick a candidate for Senate in Georgia, Trump immediately thought of Walker, who was a star college football player in Georgia back in the late 80s. And Trump really likes Herschel Walker, something he made known when Herschel Walker appeared as a contestant on Trump's game show back in 2009. You've lost before, Herschel. Yes. You were the project manager. You know how much I like you. Yes, I love sir. you. I love you. Yes. I am not a gay man. And I love you, Herschel. Yeah, Herschel, you. you're fired. Thank you. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That's a tough one. I love you. I'm not a gay man. You're fired. That's a tough one. That is arguably why Herschel Walker is the Republican nominee for Senate in Georgia. Against, we should note, the wishes of many Republican operatives throughout the state. He's their guy now. They're going to stick with him. Today, the National Republican Senatorial Committee released a unintentionally hilarious statement. It reads in part, I'll read it to you. Democrats in the media have tried to stir up nonsense about what has or hasn't happened in Herschel Walker's past because they want to distract from what's happening to the president. Has or happened, has, hasn't happened. Who's to say, really? Walker also went on Fox News last night for what was supposed to be a softball rehabilitation interview to dismiss the allegations against him. It was a little tough to watch. I send out so many get well, uh, send out so much of anything. But I can tell you right now, I never asked anyone to get an abortion. I never paid for an abortion, and it's a lie. What about the $700 check? Is there anybody you can remember sending that much money to? Well, I, I send money to a lot of people, and that's what's so funny. I'm not sure I send money to a lot of people is your best defense there, Mr. Walker. Ironically, the best defense of Walker was kind of accidental, since lead a tweet by a Georgia conservative kind of Republican operative, said, I thought we all knew this, and also old news, and people do change over time. Yeah, people do change. The problem comes from when that who cares argument comes from those figures on the right who are trying to criminalize abortion, who are saying, and let's be very clear here, okay? The contention, the moral principle is that abortion is murder, which is to say, Herschel Walker, the accusation goes, paid to have his child murdered in their view. Do they actually believe he paid to have a child murdered? Do they believe that's the severity of the accusation? They're not acting like it. Maybe they don't believe that. According to the Daily Beast, in fact, Walker pressed for the abortion because it wasn't time for him to have children. Now, because I personally believe strongly in abortion rights, I think any reason a woman chooses to have an abortion is none of my business. But Republicans don't want to extend that same chance to say, oh, I don't know, a 10-year-old girl who has been raped by a family member and has to flee her state to get an abortion, impregnated against her will at the age of 10, probably not the right time for her to have a child. Too bad. No. That's where the life gets really important. That's where it's really important to them that she be forced to have that kid. That's where Herschel Walker and the Republican Party are going to force her to have it. That's the true scandal at the heart of the story.